Much to my wife's despair, I am forever buying air guns. But it's so difficult nowadays. Do you go for something in the style of a bullpup? Something tactical or maybe a bit more classic? It would be an absolute dream if you could own one air rifle and then make changes to it. Yeah, that would be an absolute dream way to shoot air guns. I would just like to say, sir, that's a very nice blue jacket. Why, thank you. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's got years of wear left in it. Right, if you'd like to hang on here a couple of hours, I'm just going to go shooting. Thank you, Jives. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Jives, Jives, I, I need food. Bring me food. Ah, very good. Cake and tea. Thank you, Jives. Anything else, sir? Uh, yes, actually, I've just shot that target over down there, so if you could go and stand that up for me, please. Certainly, sir. Thank you. And again, Jives! Cakes to your satisfaction, sir. Yeah. Very good, Jive. Very good. Crumbs, yeah. sir. Oh, thank you, Jive. Crumbs. Thank you. Lovely. Now, it's rather cold out here today, Jives. So when I get home, I'd like a nice warm bath, please. And can you tell Bunty that I would like roast pheasant for my supper? Certainly, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Good cake. The whole structure of the Dreamline is modular, or as it has been called, the Lego gun. The core block stays the same, but then many, many combinations of styles can be bolted on. You start with one model, I have the Dream Light, then in the future you can change to a different model by buying the conversion pack. For example, if I want to go from the Dream Light to the Dream Tactical, I simply have to work a few screws. The Dream Tactical allows the attachment of an AR-style stock. In fact, anything with that fitting. So maybe you could get a folding one in the future. That's the UK and elsewhere. The Dream Tac also has the raised Picatinny rail on the top. What I have here is the Dreamline Light, and it lives up to its name. It's 5.5 pounds minus the scope. 96 centimetres in length, and 50 centimetres of that is the barrel, and the stock is a fixed 32 centimetres. That barrel is the Smooth Twist X, which we have, as YouTubers, been banging on about for the last 12 months. 
you might be bored of hearing about it. But as a shooter and not a journalist, it gets me excited because it's just such an expandable platform. You can change the liner in the future, change the twist rate of that liner for different ammo, and you can buy barrel kits like you can for impacts and crowns. So you can change the caliber. And excuse me, but I don't see any other rifle out there doing that. That barrel floats and sits inside the black polished shroud. I'm looking and I don't see any baffles inside, hence the half inch thread on the front for a silencer. However, my sub 12 foot pound is very quiet without one. The barrel is removable and the liner and caliber can be changed with a kit in the future. In the USA, I'm unsure on the UK, rifles can be packaged with a Donny moderator, which I don't have but I do have a hug it, and that'll do nicely. The aluminium air cylinder below is 250 cc, 47 centimeters long, and I guess around 10 centimeters of that is valving, and you charge using a fill probe at the end to 230 bar. Inside is the new amp regulator, which is adjustable from the outside of the cylinder, and it's adjustable up and down without having to remove air from that cylinder. The FX tech department tells me that the best way to turn down the power is a quarter turn on the screw and fire a shot, then a quarter turn again and fire a shot, and so on and so forth. You still need to be gentle. There's a regulator gauge on the side with a resettable safety. The trigger is 15 ounce from the factory and it arrived to me like I have my impact trigger set, bang on. Small first stage, then a slight meaningful squeeze and away she goes. That can be adjusted as it's a match trigger, but for me, it's just right. Transfer a port adjustment on the side. It's simple to understand. Even though it's labeled for calibers, it's fun to experiment and see the results. Dovetail rail on the top is the standard, normal style FX magazine. Load one in the rear first and then drop the rest in from the front. Magazines have been a hot topic for me in the last 12 months. This one, while I would agree is not the prettiest, I don't think any of them are, it is reliable and it wins in competition. I fail to see why other manufacturers cannot make a magazine line up and function correctly straight out the box. The fixed stock is a soft feel plastic with aluminium inserts and it screws on and off the rear of the main block. For me, it's a little high, so I'm using high mounts. I do miss not having an adjustable pad, but it's early days. Who knows what's coming out? That grip is chunky, and from what I can see, it's changeable. It's actually more chunky than the grip that initially arrived on my Impact a few years ago. You see, I've got fat hands, designed to eat a lot of pizza and pies, so I like to have something big to grip onto. On the Dream Light, you've got the hammer adjuster at the back. And the great thing is, is that that is part of the modular system. That can come off and go back on, depending on which model of rifle you're going to have. Sorry to interrupt, but if you'd like to see how easy it is to change the Dream Light to the Dream Tack, then I've made a small instructional video and the link is in the box below. If you'd also like to see how easy it is to change the liners and the calibers on the Dream liners, there's a link to a video for that down below as well. Carry on. The Dream line is going to be out in 177, 2225 and 30 caliber. Great, I hear you cry. Now I never need to buy an Impact or a Crown again. So here's the difference. The Impact offers valve adjustability on firing that's an extra. And both the Crown and the Impact are larger units, so the valving is larger and thus greater power can be gained. FX say the Dreamline is based caliber depending on 12, 18, 32 and 47 foot-pounds, with the 30 numbers yet to come out. For most, that's still way plenty. But if you want ultimate power, then it's still the Impact or the Crown, or maybe the Wildcat. Is this replacing everything? In my opinion, nope. It sits in front of the dedicated rifles in the FX range. It's down to you what you bolt on. Initially, as I speak, three models are being launched. The Dream Pup, the Dream Classic, and the Dream Light. 
but in the next month or two, the Dream Tactical, this one here, and possibly the Dream FT will follow, and probably more. How accurate is it, I hear you ask? Well, here's the detail. And remember, this is an off-the-shelf gun, no special parts. Oh. I, I gotta go look at that, that's... Wow. Wow. Day two with the Dreamline. I think that there is my fourth magazine through the gun just getting zeroed. And then that there is my fifth magazine after I've sort of zeroed. And there's 18 shots there just through that hole just there. Out of the box with the magazine. Very happy with that. The normal wrath of pellet testing in shoes, starting at 25 yards with my sub 12 foot pound rifle in 2-2. Here are my 25 yard pellet test results. All are 18 shot groups, not five, but 18. The clear winner is the JSB 15.89s. I've also found that the high powered rifle likes these as well. And remember, the rifle is straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. Just let me remind you again that these are all shot with the magazine. Next, I took the rifle out to 40 yards. After three zeroing shots, I 14 through the hole in the middle and one to the side. The pellets are unweighed, so who knows what caused that, but it's not the rifle. 50 yards and after three zeroing shots, I have nine making one hole under half an inch and six just round the outside. That is a windless day, mind. Did I mention, though, that it's with the magazine? And the power of the sub 12 foot pound? Well, after two evenings lost, I can declare an average of 561 feet per second from 230 shots before it drops off reg and requires some more air. What about the high power rifle? Well, I spent a couple of cold days at braces range, and depending on your pellet choice, you should expect around 920 feet per second for the light 15.89s. And the 18s, around 880 feet per second. So choose your pellet wisely. Groups at 50 yards are easy with the high power, but then it's out to 100. So it is windy today. As you can see, it's windy, but, oh yeah, very windy. And it's a windy day again, 12 to 14 miles an hour, and it's gusty. So patience is what is required. The rifle clearly groups at 100. It's just the elements to beat. I've got to tell you, I'm quite pleased with that. The high power Dreamline then, at 100 yards, this is all wind, as you can see here. And this is wind. I'm trying to put 18 inside there. And it is a little bit too windy today. But when Mother Nature lets up, you can get five, four actually, basically all under my thumb and one just to the side. So the rifle is cock on at 100. You just need to allow for good old mother nature. Oh, right, <laughs> there's the first one. I'm gonna dial a little bit. <sighs> Yeah! Wow! Here we go. <laughs> right, it's the little one left. The little chicken. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> Get in! And I've got it on camera as well. Come on. Look at that. Right. 
So, in my excitement, let's be clear, I've hit down one, let's grab these off the floor, two, two, three, and then I hit that, right? Look, it's tiny, that's, that's the size of the end of my thumb near on. And obviously it took a few shots and you can see that. But look at the target. If you imagine from back there, I've gone just to the side of it, just to the round of it. And these holes, they've got like a couple of pellets in them. So this is a sub 12 foot pound rifle. That is the smallest thing I think I've ever shot with a sub 12 foot pound rifle. Am I, am I making myself clear enough here? Sub 12 foot pound rifle. I'm plinking at tiny targets like that at a hundred yards. Do you know what? I rather like that FX Dreamline. The side lever cocking is longer than the impact and the crown, but it's silky smooth, not spring loaded and easy to use. The probe comes back and forward with ease to load the next shot. The rifle benches well when you add a bipod on the Picatinny rail up front and shoulders and carries in the field easily. I've already been out on my permission and we bonded instantly. In the UK, unless you have a firearms ticket, we have to accept restrictions on power. But I do think the hammer spring will still be adjustable for going between 177 and 22 caliber, just not the regulator. But all the other options should be possible, which is great news for us UK shooters. This is hitting the market in the USA starting at around $999. I hope the UK follows suit. Listen, UK market, follow suit. And the USA have also just had a three-year transferable warranty introduced. That would be nice in the UK as well. But I guess that's down to the distributor, I think. But don't hold me to that. The Dreamline gives you the freedom to choose and to tune and to change to have the best of all worlds. Once you've tuned that bit to your liking, you can then change the style of the rifle. I cannot see a quick way to mount a sling on my dream light. The pup and classic would be simple, two studs. The light really for me is a quick, easy carry, lightweight rifle, capable of any type of pest work. The gun falls into the 3060 law in the UK for rifle and pistols. So remove the stock and stick a red dot on the top and voila, FX, you could shorten the barrel and the cylinder. See, I'm designing things for you. Can you imagine the Dreamline pistol? This is the iPod of air guns. It will spawn third party add-ons and refinements. Yep, it's modern. Yep, it's different. And yep, I'm already jealous of others around the world who have got different models to try out. But I have these ones. Thank you, FX. But now I have to go back to my day job so I can save up to buy all the stuff that I want to bolt onto these because I now have the freedom to choose. Please like and subscribe to get all the latest air gun reviews and thank you ever so much for watching. And if you don't mind, I'm now off for my bath. And he wants a roast pheasant supper. Who the hell are you? I don't have a butler. Why am I in his stupid dream sequence? And my name's not Bunty, but you can tell him to shove his roast pheasant dinner up his ass. I'll give him a hot bath. After a long, cold day shooting, a nice warm bath. These bubbles smell a bit different. Thank you.